don't come closer to me. Hello, friends. <laughs> we are at Starbucks getting coffee. <laughs> Messing with hubby because um we have been without power for three days, friends. Three days, which is why I have not been uploaded. And um oh, that's better. And finally, we're getting coffee at Starbucks, the most popular place. When there was um when we had no power with Starbucks, the line would be all the way out the door. Drive through would be all around the parking lot. So we had a huge storm, right? Yeah, we had a big storm. <laughs> it's hot, buddy. It's already halfway in here. Yeah, we had no power. Good thing we had a fireplace inside our bedroom. That was long for you. That was like a day and a half of no power. No, three days. No. Friday night. Friday night. Saturday. All day Saturday. Mm -hmm. Came back Sunday. on Sunday, early Sunday morning. That's pretty late. The clock started at 10 p.m. on Friday. Yeah, the clock. 24 made hours later was Saturday night, 10 p.m. That's 24 hours. That's one day. But the struggle was three days. <laughs> it makes no sense. <laughs> it makes no sense. Three days. It started Friday. All day. Saturday and then came Sunday morning. Yeah. Sunday morning was the third day. 10 p.m. on Friday and it came back on Sunday morning at 4 a.m. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's so cold. Okay. Mm. So cold. Everything in our house is cold. I told the faucets are cold. The floor is cold. The water is cold. Everything is cold. Older, just turn the heater on. You know, we have a heater that goes all around the house. It's called electric. Mm, yes. But then we paid eight hundred dollars when we used it. Oh, what? You won't be cold. <laughs> all right, friends. Front yard. There's our apple tree, and that is a deer. Not weird front yard and that's a major highway there's the deer oh this is the second time we've seen a deer they're hungry Aww. oh hello hello dear oh dear look at the deer <laughs> all right friends i figured i'd film so we're Watching a show, doing laundry. Hubby is making breakfast, his famous uh, pancakes. But um, these are like some of the leftover garlics that I harvested this year. And then I'm just separating them so I can replant them. I did not buy any garlic uh, this year. These all came from um, like garlics that I purchased from the store actually. Like elephant, this is uh, elephant garlic. See how big they are. I just purchased them from the store, and some um, like some site says that you cannot you cannot uh, grow garlic from the store. You have to actually purchase them from the um, from like a seed company or uh, plant company. That's not true because look at this. Because <laughs> um, it's so much cheaper to purchase them at the store. Like I purchased three uh, elephant garlic and each elephant garlic was I think just $3. And so out of all those, you separate them into these little bulbs and then you plant them and then you get more garlic. So I had a whole bunch. I was able to give some away to friends and then also like um, family. And uh, Jacob's uh, mom got some and aunt and they really loved it because it's so nice and fresh. Um, this one was bad, so I don't I don't want to plant anything that's a bad one. But look at the size. Oh, don't, don't look at that. But look at the size of these. Yeah, when it's bad like that, I don't need to plant it. Um, but you just have to make sure that fully dry it. Okay? So that's what we're doing today. And then hubby cleaned up my garden, so I'm going to show you guys how I plant my garlic. Right. 
friends. So I'm going to show you guys how to plant garlic. And it's the easiest. This is where I had my onions. But basically, um, you have to plant them facing like the um, this, the bottom part facing down, right? So you, you can tell that that's where like the roots would come out. That's the pointy part. So it has to be facing that way. So it's so much easier if you have one of these bulb planters because you have to plant it two inches deep. And then um, I get these from the dollar store. But about six, four, four to eight inches. So I go in the middle, six. So every six inches apart, two inches deep. And then this one I've already planted and I put a marker over there. So basically, I'm going to work on that one over there. So here we go. So I have, I measured the, I measured the depth. I have my marker. Always have a marker because you will forget like nine months from now. That's how long garlics um, cure or <laughs> how long you have to plant it for. So I usually plant beans right here. And so that I know my beans will be right here. I usually like plant it right on the thing. So I will put this like right about here to give it to give it space then all you gotta do is just kind of level out your your good soil and then you have your marker and then you just space it okay friends then you just space it about six inches i would say over here okay so i'm gonna do a whole row of that right here and then what I do is, see, the hole is already in there. All I do is just, friends, super easy. Drop it in there, cover, that's it. Leave it for nine months. I don't water, I don't do nothing. That is it. We have our own movie date. Mom! <laughs> what are we watching? Little Rascals. Little Rascals. Friends, we are taking Danielle back home. What's so that? The red rum, Shining. Have you not seen Shining? No, I don't watch scary movies. Okay, we have Miss Mary. She drove us here, but we're gonna take. Um, oh, uh oh, we're gonna go to a crepes place that we went in here before with Danielle. It was so good. So they have savory crepes or um, sweet crepes. We are in Bellingham, right? And. Danielle came home for the weekend, but Billingham. Look at they have Hatha yoga. But it's a basically a old town. Are we at old town? Downtown? Old town? Yeah. Okay. Billingham is a university place. So then all stuff around is university. Yeah. All right. So this is where we're at. Smells so good. AB, like the AB crepes. Oh, oh, it's so warm. Hello. Hello. Damn sweet and savory. Oh, so good. Let me know if you guys have any questions at all. All right, thank you. Yeah, I need a key. You need a key? Oh, you want to use the bathroom? Yeah. Yeah, uh, right behind the espresso machine. Yeah, for sure. All right, so last time we had the Raz Dream. That was so good, huh? You had that one? Yeah. They have a Hawaiian. I'm, I wanna, so finding on savory. So Danielle, yeah. you're gonna get ABCT. Yeah, uh -huh. I think I might get the Harvest Moon. That one sounds good, but I think I'm gonna get the garlic chicken or the chicken bacon. I don't know yet. Or the crepe and days. Oh my goodness, I don't know. extra avocado and we both uh, all three of us got a savory 
So this was the um, Days and Maze or something like that? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Is it good? It's good. Super, super good. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Mine is the, the button that's fun. And if you look inside. Butternut squash? Yeah. Oh my god, so good. I know, with balsamic. <laughs> Look at that. And then you even had a coffee now. We ate all of it. <laughs> we cleared our plates. Not a single little crepe. Oh.